What's up guys, it's your boy Darkest King back for another video and today we are going to be opening Diamond Slugler. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's look at the back of the box and on the back of the box you will see Diamond Slugler as well as one Geogon, two ability cards, one gate card, and one rule sheet. So let's get this thing opened. Now going over the contents, starting with the gate card. This gate card gives zero, 0 to Pyrus, 4 to, 400 to Aquas, minus 300 to Ventus, 600 for Chaos, 300 for Aralus, and 500 for Darkus. So Darkus and Chaos getting the most B power with it. And this would be a very good trap for, uh, for Vent Ventus. And it would be good for melee battles. Uh, shout out to Jet Koo, so I'll put his channel and his video called Gate, Gate Cards Are Back in the video description down below. And with that, let's move on to the next content. Moving on, here is the first ability card called Body Crusher. It's a one cost and it'll allow you to negate four damage from your opponent and it will allow you to search. This card is from the Secrets of the Geogon set. And uh, yeah, it is uh, very good. One cost is very cheap. And yeah, on to the next ability card. And here is the next ability card. Diamond Slugler. 7 cost, 1500 B power, 15 damage. I'll do comparisons with the cards and the toys in a bit, but 7 cost is very high for 1515, and this card came from the Secrets of the Geogon set, and I don't know if that can be used competitively, um, but yeah, on to the next, the next content. And here is the Geogon itself, Diamond Slugler. I like, I like the coloration. I'll compare the toys in a, in a sec. But uh, yeah, things to notice. Um, different purple. Um, the silver is in place of green for the spikes, and there is a golden attribute logo, signifying that it's a diamond. And yeah, um, it has 1500 B power printed on it, and yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's show you everything that comes in the box. Here is all the contents in the box. You got your ability card, your toy, and your gate card, and this is the part of the video now. Well, where I'll do all of my comparisons between the toys and the, the character cards. So let's do that right now. Here are both Slugler ability cards. As you can see, the darkest version has a reroll, and if it lands on a helix, it gets 900B. Four cost, 500B power, and only two cost where I feel like it's more competitive, you're able to get get a reroll at 900B, um, as opposed to paying 7 for a very powerful Geogun. And um, the art design is very different as well. One of them is like killing Ventus Bakugan, while the other is um, in a war trying to defend itself. And yeah. 
Now let's compare the Slugler Geogun. And here are the Geoguns. There's obvious differences like the shade of purple instead of black, the Gold Faction logo. Instead of green spikes, eyes, and beak, they are all silver. And yeah, I like, I like the lighter shade of purple that they got for the Diamond Geoguns. Now, without further ado, let's see these guys drop on the Hide Matrix. Thanks for watching. If there's any questions that you need answered, um, leave them in the comments and I'll probably answer them. Uh, go check out Jakuso. He's a really cool guy and he makes really good videos like Gate Cards Are Back and his Year by Year Bionicle video. Um, he's really cool. And uh, yeah, this is Darkest King and I'll see you next time.